Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. Today we are starting a new let's play and I am so excited for this one. I am so happy with how this space turned out. It is just so magical and cozy to me and I'm so excited to be doing a let's play in Granite Falls. So this is Sadie. She is so beautiful. I am obsessed with her of course like i am with every sim sadie was in my last video where i showed you guys how to decorate and clutter if you want to go and check that video out you can but basically sadie used to live in henford on bagley and she lived in a trailer and she was exploring a lot but she ended up settling down in henford on bagley for a while and kind of fell in love with the quiet peaceful cozy lifestyle but one day Sadie went for a huge hike and went deeper into the woods and ended up finding herself in Granite Falls and she fell in love with how beautiful this place is and she decided that she wanted to settle down here and when she saw this cabin that she now lives in she knew that this was where she was meant to be. So Sadie packed up all of her belongings and sold her trailer and moved into this amazing tiny cabin this place just suits sadie so much and as you can see <laughs> she is so excited to be here so sadie's aspiration is an outdoor enthusiast when she moved here she heard that there were a lot of things to collect and a lot of places to explore so she is so excited to start doing that and her traits are a bookworm, she is also adventurous, she loves the outdoors, she is an animal enthusiast, and she is creative. Also Sadie's pronouns are she, her. And then Sadie's talents are that she is a green thumb and a fish whisperer. And she's also a natural born comedian, but she does struggle a tiny bit with charisma and she also has two clumsy hands, so she's not great at handiness. But she is also a collector and she is also bi and she's also got the hero and sage personality which means she likes to seek wisdom and she also demonstrates courage. So basically Sadie is just an absolute sweetheart. She loves connecting with people and nature and she is so excited and so am I to see where her new life goes in this new place in Granite Falls. Before I show you the inside of Sadie's new place, I'm going to show you her outfits quickly. So these are Sadie's everyday outfits. She has quite a few. She has some for hiking, some for gardening, and just like her casual everyday. Then we have her formal wear and her athletic wear. I gave her an outfit for when it's like hotter and for when it's winter. Then we have Sadie's sleepwear and her party wear. Then she has her swimwear and her summer outfits. She has one for when she goes hiking and she's got her amazing hiking backpack and then she just has a couple other outfits as well then lastly we have her winter wear and she just has a bunch of really cozy warm clothes and she looks absolutely adorable in all of them so they are sadie's outfits i just think she is so stunning i love her so much okay so now i can give you a tour of sadie's place this is her incredible little pond with all the ducks and frogs and turtles then we have her bike which is just amazing i love the basket so much and we also have her clothesline and her wash tub and then we have a little garden area which sadie is really excited to get going she wants to start it as soon as possible and then we have a garden swing down at the back which again Sadie was so excited to see then on the inside of Sadie's home we have the front entrance at the moment there are still boxes in the way because Sadie just finished unpacking and she needs to put these boxes away but we also have a little front entrance with her mail over here and everything that she needs when she leaves the house and her little gumboots 
then in this first room we have the cozy bathroom again a lot of you guys would have seen this furniture when i showed you in the last video how to decorate but yeah this is sadie's bathroom and i just know that sadie cannot wait to get into this bath and read her book while having a bubble bath and if we leave the bathroom we come into the main area we have the ladder which goes up to sadie's bedroom and in here we have the living room and kitchen area so sadie now has a really cozy fireplace and she still has her records and her books and her old tv she now has a little area where she can put a few more things like some more of her travel photos and her yoga mat including her guitar which she's still learning how to play <laughs> and then we have sadie's super cozy kitchen and she has some of her groceries that she needs to put away and of course her spices and her teapot because Sadie loves her tea then if we go into this little area over here this is like Sadie's little laundry slash storage area and then in this tiny section she just has a little garden area where she keeps all of her gardening tools and then we have just a tiny space for her ironing board which is functional and i love it so much the animation is so cool then if we go up the ladder we come into sadie's bedroom slash her study space or office space i guess i still love sadie's bed so much i love all of the clutter on sadie's bed so that is sadie's place it's just really cozy and it's just a little bit bigger than the trailer obviously so sadie doesn't even know what to do with herself with all of this space because she's been living in the trailer for so long but yeah that is her place it's currently 6 30 almost on a thursday and i want sadie to take it easy for the night she needs to come and put these boxes away one of the other amazing things about Sadie's place is the view that she gets to see every day. Like this is right out her front door. When it's not raining, it looks even better. The lake is always sparkling and she has her own little rowboat out here. Like this view is everything. So when Sadie moved in, she realized that she moved next door to a yoga retreat place that a woman owns she met the owner of this retreat her name is cora because she helped sadie move in next door so she's only briefly met cora but cora owns this tiny little amazing retreat i will link the creator to this lot down below i have edited the lot and added some more cc to this space but i will link the creator down below but yeah, Cora runs this space and she lives with other travellers who come by and either just stay for a little bit or they stay for a while and help her around the place and help her with her garden and just basically looking after everything. So Sadie hasn't met the rest of the people that live next door to her. She's only met Cora and she's already made friends with some bunnies, of course. But she is excited to eventually go next door and officially introduce herself to everybody. For now, I want Sadie to pack up these boxes, seeing as she has finished pretty much putting everything away and unpacking. And then we could make a little snack. I forgot to get rid of the amount of money that Sadie had when she moved into this space. Basically, Sadie doesn't have much money after moving in. She only has $895. So the way that Sadie plans on making money is by growing some food and also selling things that she collects because again like I said she's a collector and she's heard that there are some amazing things to collect around this area and she'll also be doing some cross stitch and hopefully selling that at like the flea markets or online if she can. When Sadie met Cora she told her that the farmers markets are actually in town tomorrow so Sadie is excited to check out the farmers market tomorrow because she wants to get some seeds and start growing her garden more we're going to set an alarm for 6am tomorrow 
so that she has enough time in her day. Sadie likes to get up early anyway. We do need to set up her internet service as well. We haven't set it up yet because she's just moved into a new place. For now, I'm going to leave Sadie to sleep and we will see you guys the next day. Okay, so it is the next morning and Sadie is making some banana and honey toast. Honestly, that looks so good. <laughs> so Sadie's already got herself into one of her hiking outfits. So she's going to eat her toast and then we're going to head to the market. It stormed so much last night that some like rare crystals ended up forming around the place so we're gonna collect these as well and we'll see if we can eventually sell them i need sadie to buy a selling table so that she can start selling some of these things at the markets so sadie just gained a lifestyle already which is the single and loving it lifestyle <laughs> It kind of makes sense because Sadie has been on her own, like exploring and traveling the world for a really long time. So it makes sense that she loves like the single lifestyle. I don't know if that will change the more that she settles down here and meets people. She also has her official passport and her driver's license in her inventory and obviously the boxes that we need to get rid of. We could sell her boxes. That will give us some money too. Okay, let's get Sadie on her bike. It is now sunny and it's 10.30, so the markets should be open. This place is so beautiful. Sadie loves the statue that's around this area too. Sadie also really loves that this is like a camping ground in the woods as well, so that she's always got new travelers to meet too okay i think that sadie's heading in the right direction yeah these are the markets that have come to town These markets are so beautiful. We have the flower stall, we have one of the grocery stalls, and then we have the fresh and local honey farm stand with also canned goods and apples and flower seeds. And then we have more of the farmer market stalls over here. Also, Cora is here. She's currently a customer and this is who runs the yoga retreat. So we're going to say hello in a second. There's a self-checkout service for her to purchase some of these products. We're going to buy some tea. It's quite expensive, but like I told you guys, Sadie loves her tea. And we're also going to buy some fresh bread and we're going to get her a chocolate bar for a nice treat then with the money that she just spent at the checkout she also bought a couple of tomatoes so we're going to take them and a couple of carrots and a couple of potatoes and we're also going to take a couple of the capsicums too okay sadie is just talking to joanna about moving in yeah i just moved in i'm really excited to be here Actually, if you just excuse me, I just saw somebody I know, so I'm just gonna go and say hi. So this is Cora, you guys. She is so beautiful. She's really just a free spirit. 
I'm pretty sure her aspiration is to have inner peace and that's why she loves running the retreat so much. They don't have any sentiments, I'm not sure why the sentiments aren't coming up at the moment but for now it just says that they're acquaintances and they're neighbours but they seem to be getting along pretty well. And it's also saying that Cora is a jester sim, so they live for moments of joy, humour and silliness. Often though, they are irresponsible wasting time by playing around instead of focusing on their goals. Which, as I said, Cora is a free spirit, so that kind of makes sense. So Cora has noticed that Izzy is standing next to Sadie, and Izzy is one of the people that lives with Cora. She's like, Sadie, this is Izzy, why don't you come over and introduce yourself? like hi i'm sadie i just moved in next door i don't know if cora's mentioned me yet but it's really nice to meet you again it just says that they're acquaintances and neighbors and they don't have a sentiment yet i really don't know where the sentiments have disappeared to but hopefully they come back soon let's also ask about interests Izzy is also a jester apparently, Sadie's also telling her about the outdoors and she's just learned that Izzy also loves the outdoors. Izzy's like, oh you love the outdoors too? We should definitely go for a hike sometime, the woods here are amazing. Sadie is also loving the sounds of the wind from these wind chimes right now, so I think that we should try and buy one of these for Sadie eventually. We're also going to collect some of this honey from the market. The guys are like, yeah, we're closing up now, so if anyone wants the leftover honey, feel free to take it. I'm not sure if that was successful or not. Oh no, she just got stung. Okay, Sadie has some practice that she uh, needs to do. Sadie is saying goodbye to Izzy because it is now 1 a.m. <laughs> And Izzy's like, if you're not busy tomorrow, you should stop by Cora's place for a yoga session. Okay, this just popped up as Sadie was saying goodbye and it says, Looks like Sadie just befriended a high energy sim. High energy sims are often out in the world seeking adventure and high octane fun. They usually tend toward active hobbies like sports or dancing and might even have a daredevil streak in them. In terms of sim preferences, would you say that Sadie likes high energy sims? Yes, absolutely. No wonder these two get along so well. Izzy is exactly like Sadie. Okay, say goodbye to Izzy. We really do have to go now. I feel like Sadie has had an amazing first day in her new town. She got to meet Izzy and get to know Cora a tiny bit more. She's been invited to go have a yoga session tomorrow. She bought some things that she can plant in her garden and has been for a beautiful bike ride, checked out the markets. <laughs> Sadie's gonna have her chocolate bar and some banana bread for dinner at 3am, 3.30am. Why not, you know? Let's put the rest of this chocolate bar in the fridge and we're going to put the bread in the fridge and the green tea can go in the cupboard here for now. Then we're going to place the honey in the fridge as well. I think Sadie took this book from the markets so we're just gonna put this we're just gonna put this here for now <laughs> let's have sadie use the bathroom brush her teeth and then go to bed because it is so late okay let's get into her pajamas and then go to sleep we're not setting an alarm today because it's already so late Sadie gets to go to sleep in the rain which is super cozy again and we will see you guys the next day it's the next day and I want Sadie to get into her gardening wear with her gumboots so that she can plant her crops
Okay, so Sadie has finished gardening. We're gonna just take out the grass from this section. This is something that I'm also really excited about, you guys, because once this grass gets really long, Sadie can use a lawn mower to mow the lawn. I forgot to buy it before, but this is the lawn mower, and this is what she can use once the grass is grown. Right now, it says that the grass is still too low, but I'm so excited to see the animation for it when it happens. Let's head next door and go and see Cora and Izzy and me whoever else lives there and go and have a yoga session while it is still a beautiful day. Okay, so we have Izzy who is here, we have Cora and we have Charlie who I think is the other person who lives here. So this is Charlie, you guys. Let's introduce Sadie to Charlie. So it says that she thinks Charlie is basic looking, but they have amazing compatibility, but they don't have any sentiments yet, and they're neighbors and acquaintances. <laughs> so I feel like they're gonna be really great friends. It says like two perfect pieces of a puzzle, these sims just click. They have the highest level of compatibility and building a strong relationship between these two sims should take much less effort than usual. So this is the inside of Cora's little retreat. It basically has a meditation space and an area for music and relaxing. There's the tiny little kitchen over here and then they have the massage station. Cora is also a massage therapist so this is where she works and helps make more money other than holding the yoga sessions. I just love the bus with the telescope and the couch on top. You can go and hang out on top of this and watch the stars. I just think it is so cool. Cora has a friend coming to do a yoga class for them today. So we're going to ask him to start the yoga class. Sadie hasn't taken that many yoga classes, so she might be a little bit rusty and following everyone else's lead. It started raining and Sadie failed on the class. She just left. She didn't even finish it. She's feeling confident, so and she's feeling fit. So that's a good thing, right? <laughs> Izzy's like, so Sadie, what did you think of your yoga class? I see that you left. Cora's like, don't worry, you'll get used to it soon. Let's compliment Cora's house. Tell her how beautiful her house is because it really is such a beautiful home and thank everybody for having us as well and then let's discuss interest with charlie and see what we can find out about charlie lady is also comforting charlie because he's currently scared of the thunderstorm so i guess we won't be hiking today huh i really wanted to see if we would stumble across some bears but that rain just won't let up we are on day 14 of summer so we're about to enter fall which is probably why we're getting so much rain as well because it's starting to get cooler these two are having such a great conversation right now she's getting along with them so well okay sadie really needs to pee so let's go pee you guys i downloaded a mod that makes sims wear raincoats instead of umbrellas and they all look so good in their raincoats i love it Cora and Charlie looked so cute. Cora has put herself to bed. I think Izzy did as well. Sadie is just like, you know what guys? I think I'm gonna head home before this storm gets even worse. Thank you so much for having me. This is the perfect time for Sadie to have a bubble bath, seeing as she got drenched in the rain. Let's 
Let's also light this fire to keep this place warm. That will also help Sadie dry too. Then let's change into your sleepwear to get comfy. And Sadie feels like making some soup while it's still raining. Honestly, you can never go wrong with the soup when it is storming outside. Sadie just reached cooking level 2. It looks delicious. She's feeling really inspired right now and she loved being out in the great outdoors. She's feeling happy from the cozy fire and she's also feeling happy from the fantastic food. Let's get Sadie to bed. We're gonna set the alarm for 7am this time and then I think that we're gonna leave this episode here you guys this episode was just to introduce you to Sadie and her home and some of the neighborhood and for her to have a chance to meet some of the people in her neighborhood so hopefully when Sadie wakes up tomorrow in the next episode we will have some better weather and she can finally go on a hike and collect anything that she might find on her hike and we're going to buy her a selling table so she can try and sell some of the things that she has found. We're going to work on her garden some more and obviously potentially meet some more sims but also hang out with her neighbours that she's becoming really close friends with. I would love for them to go and explore together as well. So we have a whole range of things that Sadie is going to get up to and I'm really excited. I'm really enjoying this cozy style of gameplay and I hope that you are too. I really hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you did enjoy this episode, please make sure to leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you thought and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified when I post another video. Thank you so much for watching. I had so much fun. I hope you did too. Please be kind to yourselves and look after yourselves as always. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.